Hello guys, welcome back to e Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we will do the analysis of a cantilever beam. So, I will do the analysis of a cantilever beam in a very easy and quick steps. So, just remember and follow these steps. So, let's consider this is any cantilever beam with one end is fixed here and the other end is free and there is a load of 5 kN acting at the free end of the beam and the total length of the beam is 8 meter. So analysis mean to find out the support reactions to support reactions and then to find or to draw the shear force diagram and then to draw or find out the its bending moment diagram. So we have to analyze this cantilever beam. So it's very easy when there is a concentrated load like here we have 5 kN. So this 5 kN will be directly transferred to this support because it is a fixed support and it can take the vertical, horizontal load and also the moment. There is no other support. So the whole 5 kN will load will directly be transferred to this point or to this support. So 5 kN is the reaction of this support if it is A. So RA will be equal to the 5 kN. The horizontal reaction from this support will be equal to 0. RAX will be equal to 0 because there is no such horizontal load acting on the beam. Now the moment, how to find out the moment, so if I delete these things, so the moment will be, here is M, the moment is equal to the, we know that the moment is equal to the force into moment arm, so the force is 5 kN, so moment we can find at point A, 5 is the load acting, is the force, multiplying it with the moment arm, the moment arm is the perpendicular distance from the load acting up to the point where you want to find out the moment. So it is this distance which is 8 meter here. So 5 into 8. So we will get moment at A, 40 kN meter. So this is a very easy way to find out the, sorry, here it's 40. 40 kN meter. So this is our moment, 40 kN meter. And this is our support reaction, 5 kN. Now to draw a shear force and bending moment diagram. So here we have moment 40 kN meter and here we have support reactions of 5 kN. So to draw the shear force diagram, first I will draw the reference lines here. These are my reference lines. This is for the shear force and let's suppose this is for the bending moment. So here I can write here, this is for the shear force diagram in the unit of kN. And here we will have bending moment diagram in the unit of kN meter because this is, these are forces in the distance units. So now for shear force, starting from this point, so these are 0, 0 reference lines. These are 0, 0. So 5 kN load is acting here, is support reaction. So it is acting in upward direction, so it will be taken upward. 5 kN. And then there is no load acting on the beam, so it will be a straight line. And then there is a gas 5 kN acting downward. It will cancel this 5 plus kN and here is minus 5 kN. So it will again come to zero. So this is the shear force diagram for this beam. Now what will be the moment diagram? Simply to find out the area of this object. So how to find the area of this object? It is a rectangle. We have here height 5. 5 is the height. And base is here is 8 meter. We know that the a length of the beam is 8 meter so height multiplying it with the base so we will get the moment of this whole object it is 40 kN or we can directly start from here we know that 40 kN meter is the moment at the support of the beam so the whole bending moment will be represented here in the unit of minus 40 kN meter and starting from here 0 because there is no support so this point it will be 0 because there is no support. So here is support, fixed support. So here it will be moment of 40 kN meter. So this is the simple way to find out the bending moment diagram. And one thing should be kept in mind that this line, this line should be linear line. It should be one degree line because this is zero degree line, horizontal line. So this will be one degree line. It should not be parabolic or cubic. It should be linear line because the bending moment is always one degree greater than the shear force diagram. Hope you guys understand the analysis of the cantilever beam when there is a concentrated or pointed load and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. 
Thank you for watching our video.